All right, this is everything gotten from the Lexington Legends playing the Staten Island Ferryhawks on July 26, 2024. Um, and now, as you can see, this is all, well, I shouldn't say all, most of it's Lexington stuff. There is one Staten Island related thing. Um, but obviously, I was just at Staten Island the previous week before this, uh, so there wasn't really anything to get. And Staten Island doesn't really, you know, have things like trading cards or anything like that either. Um, and neither does Lexington, but still, point stands, you know, this is pretty much all Lexington stuff, which they were the home teams, <laughs> so, you know. Anyway, let's uh, get into it. Let's start with the simple stuff. We do have a few things that might take a little bit of time. Uh, so let's just get on into it. We have the shirt that I got. Uh, of course, this was the first time that I've been to Lexington, so I got my standard shirt and hat for, you know, first time being there. You can see the Atlantic League, Lexington Legends. I, I forget what they call this guy. He has a name. I apologize. Then, you know, a base with the American flag around it. Uh, there's really nothing on the back. Let's go to the hat. Here's this guy again. And you may notice that this is not my normal style of hat. They really... Do not have fitted hats. And actually, uh, another thing I like to do, if you follow me here, is I like to get the hats specifically that they wear on the field when I was there. Well, this is not that logo either. They wore uh, like a mustache logo, which is that. It was a green hat with that logo on it. And the reason why I don't have that is because they don't really sell fitted hats. And actually, I think... The night that we were there, they were just coming out with fitted hats for this logo. Um, so I guess it, it's probably a part of the, hey, we just rebranded this year and things are coming in late. I'm going to assume that's what it is. But it, it was very odd that all the hats they have are not like, you know, the replicas. They're all stuff like this, which is not too big of an issue. And like I said, I think they are eventually going to have them. But, is you know, it's just a little odd to see that. So, eventually I will try to get a hat with that mustache logo on it, because that is what they were wearing. But for now, this is what I have. This guy. And of course, I, I went to the store before the game, so uh, from what I could tell, this was their primary logo. I didn't know what they are actually going to be wearing. Um, and it's kind of a mesh back. You know, different style for me. But, I wear it regardless. And here is the team store bag with that guy on it. Like I said, from everything I saw, this seemed like their primary logo. Um, LexingtonLegends.com. It's not really even, so it kind of looks like you're seeing double. You know, each side of the clear bag here. Um, kind of showed this briefly. This is, you know, the parking thing. Come on. Okay, this is how we're going to do it. There you go. So you can read the legal stuff, you know, in crystal clear HD, of course. And then that's the other side of it, LexingtonLegends.com. Okay, and I just paused the video because there is one thing that I suddenly remembered, and that is the printed ticket here uh, covering up personal info. But other than that, there's a section row seat, you know, that logo again, redeem something. And then, you know, again, section row seat. You know, the venue, the day, yada, 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 the teams, things of that nature. Um, let's move on to the pocket schedule here. 2024 schedule. See, I'm going to put you guys down so I can open this up fully. Let's start, I guess, with what you call the back. Um, nightly promotions. Um, there's the front and back, suite rentals, lounge rentals, Pepsi deck rentals, and that's uh, upside down. Here is the map of the stadium, ticket pricing, and the schedule itself. And there you go, and all the teams. And now... The final things here, oh, I'm sorry, not the final things. This is the final thing, but it's kind of lengthy, so I'm going to save that for last, um, is these. Now, this is one of those stadiums where they actually, you know, you can pick these up. It, a lot of times it's like at a table behind home plate or something, like by the main gate, and you can just walk up and get it. But this was kind of off, hidden in a corner. 
I think it was actually the entrance to like the suite level. Um, we were told that you could go over there and there was a woman on a, like a wooden stand, not on it, but she was in front of it and um, you could ask her for rosters and you would get it and that is exactly what happened. So uh, yeah, if you ever go to Lexington and you didn't know that, now you do. Because it almost feels like sort of a hidden thing, you know, it wasn't very obvious. It was told to us in the store. Um, and I believe that's also where we ended up getting the pocket schedules from because there wasn't really anywhere else I had them. But uh, here is the Lexington roster here. Here we go. And uh, you have a pronunciation guide, kind of like you get if you're part of the media as well. Injured and active list, all the coaches. And the Staten Island roster here. Coaches. Pronunciation, kind of the same thing. And there you go. Empire Outlets, which is right next to Staten Island Stadium. Um, now this, this may look like some sort of program. It, it is not. It is a free magazine, um, whatever Travel Host is. But uh, they had a lot of these at the hotel we were staying at. They were just at the front by the desk and noticed, hey, that's the legends on the front. I don't know how much of this is actually baseball related. I have not actually looked at it myself. But uh, here it is. And I picked it up just mainly because Lexington was obviously on the cover. So we're going to go through this. I'm not sure how much is baseball related. I think it's generally Lexington and the, the area itself. Um, there's that. Lexington's baseball. Ooh, July 2nd through 4th. Okay. That's what, why are they, I guess that's specifically for the 4th of July fireworks, I think is why they're advertising that. But then I see other series up there. Okay, they do other series. I was going to say, hopefully they do, they do more, but they do. Um, again, not entirely sure there's an ad for it. Not entirely sure how much of this is actually Legends related. Of course, I mean, if you happen to find anything else interesting, you can obviously pause as well, even if it's not baseball related. Um, obviously, it's Kentucky. You have a lot of horse related things as well. Um, this is still just seems like, you know, your generic travel magazine. Of course, like I said, I'm going through it just because of the cover, basically. It is a free magazine, at least where I got it, and uh, that's pretty much it. But unless I missed something that wasn't obvious. Um, yeah, really the extent of it is um, they say whenever there's a home series, and there was an advertisement in there, and that's pretty much what I saw. But I'm keeping this anyway because of the cover. So, anyway, that is it for me. Thanks for watching, and I will see you all later.